everyone, welcome back to the shit show. So I bought this thing and I wanted to try it on camera because well, one, I always love to try new stuff on camera. And two, uh, I tried to find a review on this product specifically, and I managed to find one in the entirety of YouTube. So I guess maybe I can be number two. As you know, I've been on like a vintage kick, and that includes vintage makeup. Uh, so I found this online, and I found it on Amazon. It was kind of expensive, um, high-end mascara expensive, so like in that $30 range. I wanted to try the one by Besame because they have like a, their entire line is like vintage makeup products, so like rouge and uh, pancake makeup, cake mascara, things like that. But when I looked for the Besame one, all they had was the brown, and I'm not going to spend that much money on something I'm not going to use. I'm probably never going to wear brown mascara, at least not on a daily basis. And the black one was sold out on Besame's website, it was sold out on Sephora, it was sold out on Amazon, like I could not find it anywhere. But I did come across this. Now, the brand, I'm <laughs> not even going to try to pronounce that. There's... There's no way. But cake mascara is cake mascara, so... Oh, it's cute! There it is. This is my first time taking it out of the box. Got this little protector sheet thing. And then there's the mascara. There's the brush. I have no idea how I'm going to use that. Um, I did go ahead and proactively I bought disposable mascara wands in case that's easier to use, but I'd like to try it how it was intended. The thing with cake mascara is it's also supposed to double as like an eyeliner, so I have some eyeliner brushes ready and I also didn't put on any eyeliner, so I'd like to try it that way. The product works differently and has a different consistency depending on how much water you use. I have some water right here, and so I figured I I could put a little water in it, see if I can get it to work as liner, and then I'm going to go back and add more water and try to make it mascara. So I did watch a ton of reviews on cake mascara in general. Most of them were the Besame one. So I know how it works. I know how it's supposed to work, and I do know that it is quite difficult to work with. Uh, it's something that's supposed to, you need practice to be able to use it. So I'm not expecting this to be perfect like first time. So I'm going in with low expectations. I just really wanted to try this. So I'm gonna try to add just a little bit of water. I have it in a spray bottle, so I wonder if like spraying the water would be easier so you get a little more control. I just don't wanna add too much. I'm gonna start with a liner. I'm gonna try to take this brush and like move it around. I can already tell I added too much water. I mean, there's definitely product there. Okay, let's see if I can line my eyes with it. Let me switch brushes. I'm not expecting this to be like a perfect everyday product to replace my regular liquid liner and mascara, but I figured it would at least be fun to try. And who knows, like, once I get the hang of it, maybe it will be my go-to, because the thing with cake mascara is it's supposed to be, like, a more green option, and apparently if you work with it properly, like, you do have more control, and I don't know. It's, it's supposed to have, like, its pros, and that's why it's still being sold today. It's definitely going on similar to, like, you know, what a liquid or gel liner would. So I have no complaints there. It is a little hard for me to work with just because of this brush. I'm really not used to doing my eyeliner with this brush. I'm used to using a liquid liner pen. So that's mostly on me. That has nothing to do with the product. I don't know how the mascara aspect of it will turn out, but I can definitely use this as a liner every day. That's not an issue. So it's not like it was a waste by any means. I'm not gonna attempt to do a wing right now, I'm just gonna get the basic line of my eye going. Now it's only been like a minute or two, or however long it's been. Um, it's been a couple minutes, but it's already starting to thicken back up. 
So I guess the product dries quite quickly, which could be good or bad depending on how you look at it. But all you have to do is add more water, so it's really not an issue. And it's actually quite easy to work with as a liner. Like I said, it's really no different from any gel liner you would use. Except it might be better because you're in charge of the consistency. So if you need it thicker or you need it thinner. So with that, I definitely um, would recommend it just for that purpose. Now it's taking me a few minutes just because I'm not good at using liner that I'm not used to working with. Okay, and that looks quite nice. It's pretty dark. It looks pretty good. Let's stick some down here. I'm gonna switch back to the other brush for that. Should I try it in my waterline? I don't know if it's like waterline accessible. I don't know what word I'm looking for. It's not going on the waterline really. And I would assume that's because, obviously, it's meant to turn to liquid when you add water. So I imagine the water line is going to be a no-go for that because it's just going to melt off and, like, create a pool of product in your eye. So that would probably make sense. So I'm just going to take a pencil here and fix my water line up. Okay, and that's looking a little trash, but again, that's my fault, not the products. Um, I'm going to go in and fix my liner after this video, but for now, I want to try the mascara aspect of it. So, since it's already a little bit dried up, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more water. I'm going to try not to get too... I was just saying, I'm going to try not get, to get too happy with it, and then I sprayed a fuck ton of water, so that's excellent. Okay, I guess I'm just going to kind of mix it around with the brush it came with. And I didn't curl my lashes or anything, I'm just going to see how this goes on first. This brush is quite stiff, because I know that was my first question, is, is it like a toothbrush or... But it's stiffer, kind of like, um... Like the toothbrushes you can buy for dentures and stuff, like where it's super stiff. Let's just get started here. I mean, it definitely works. And it's supposed to like not really clump or anything, which is what I like about that MAC mascara I've been using. And you're supposed to really be able to like layer it depending on what you're going for that day which i feel like is nice because i'm used to buying like several different mascaras that each one does a different thing and then i just layer them oh my god i just got that all down here great can't wait to have to go back and fix that okay i'm gonna keep piling on mascara here honestly i'm not finding it as difficult to work with as everyone was making it out to be I feel like as long as going into it, you know that you don't need to add that much water and things like that. Like, if you know what you're getting into, it's really not rocket science. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's hard for... Obviously, you can see it. Obviously, you're not going to know the difference as much as I am because I'm looking at myself. But it really doesn't look any different than what the mascaras I normally use do. It looks about the same. Which at the point that you're expecting it to either be better or worse depending on how you're looking at it when you're going in. It looking about the same is, I'll count that as a win, honestly. Because if you're making a switch just to cut cost on how much you spend on mascara or to look for a more sanitary or a more green option. If you get it and it doesn't look worse than what you're used to, then that's and freaking tastic what i should have done is done this side with like a mascara wand is what i should have done i mean it's not too late we can grab one so this is just a cheap little mascara wand i bought in bulk on amazon i'm just gonna roll it into this mascara here if i can really get the brush coated I really didn't 
pick up that much on the brush, but again, it dries very quickly. So it's already kind of drying out. And honestly, I don't even think I'll need these because the brush it comes with is actually fine. Like it looks weird, but it works. So I'm just gonna keep using this, honestly. I don't see any problem with it. I think the biggest problem with this is that people are just like set in their ways and they're so used to the, I mean, tube mascara has been around for like decades and that's all we grew up with if you're, you know, my age and younger or even a little older than I am. Um, but when you're used to that, so to us, this is like a brand new thing, even though this is how all mascara used to be sold. So of course, if you're not used to it, it's going to be like kind of a gimmick. Like, you don't see it being practical because the only practicality that you've experienced is what you've had your whole life. Yeah, I definitely think that it's layering quite nice. Like, the more I go over it, it really seems to be doing something. And honestly, it's not taking any longer than I normally take to do my lashes, I feel like, because I really pile on mascara and I'll use like three different ones at a time and I. I really sit there and work on my lashes. So if you're like me and you do sit there and work on your lashes for a pretty long time anyways, this really is probably for you because if you just want something that's like quick, grab it and go, I feel like you can get to the point with this that you can do that because honestly, you guys watched it with that like first couple swipes, that first coat I did, it was fine. Like I can freaking go, like perfect, we're done. But I like to sit there and see how much I can possibly put on my eyelashes before I'm satisfied. I just really like to thoroughly coat them. And honestly, I feel like this side's looking better and I think because that's the side where I only use this brush. And this side, I tried to do it with the wand. So I think the wand kind of screwed it up. So I would recommend just using the brush it comes with. I mean, that's why it comes with it. Also, if you're using the disposable ones, obviously I'm just going to throw this away. So again, that's a lot more wasteful than just washing and reusing this. But yeah, okay, so let's do some bottom lashes. I'm going to try to- I really need to fix that. That is bugging the hell out of me. I'm going to stick a little bit more water in this guy. It's a little spritz. I also think the spray bottle was a good idea. Okay, let's see how hard it is to do the bottom lashes. Okay, so I do feel like with this brush, It'll be easy to like bump your your uh, bottom lash line there and like get the mascara on it, but I kind of do that anyways. Every time I do my mascara, I always end up with mascara down here and then I gotta fix it. So that's not really anything new. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> got that everywhere. Okay, so maybe the spoolie would be better for the bottom lashes. But again, it makes sense because at the time that the cake mascara was being sold and being used, the bottom lash thing was not a trend. Like, you did not put anything on your bottom lashes at all. That really didn't start becoming a trend until like in the 60s with Twiggy and all that, which I think they still had cake mascara in the 60s, but also tube mascara was starting to be introduced around then. It was either 60s or 70s, I believe. So it makes sense that this isn't the best for your bottom lashes because it was not intended for your bottom lashes, you know? But I feel like as long as you work carefully and you're not trying to like speed run it, you can do it. But maybe just have the, the spoolies if you're a bottom lash person. Okay. Other than the mess I made all over my eyeballs through here and through here, which can easily be cleaned up. I'm not worried about that, but overall, I like the product. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I might actually start using this. I mean, I need to use it. I paid freaking $30 for it, but you know what I'm saying? I think cake mascara is my new jam. I like the benefits. I like the product. I like the packaging. I even like the brush. I have zero complaints. I don't know how this compares to the Besame one. I don't know what the differences in formula might be. Obviously, they're two different companies, but I feel like at the end of the day, Cake Mascara is Cake Mascara. Like, I'm sure it differs just how Tube Mascara differs in 
formula and things like that, but I don't know, for what it's worth, yeah. I will probably repurchase this for sure. I don't know if this company does it, but Besame, you can actually buy, um, the first time you buy it, you'll buy the compact with everything. And then after that, you can just buy the refills of the mascara itself. So that's pretty cool. This company, I think it's just like a one thing. So I'm gonna try to get the Besame when it's in stock again. But yeah, until then, I love it. I think most people in their reviews were being over dramatic about it. It's not that difficult. It's not that crazy. It's mascara. Like, pay attention and know what you're getting into and do research as you should on any product before you buy it. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Will you try cake mascara? Is that something you think you'd be into? Let me know. And I love you. Have fun. Be safe. Look both ways before you cross the street. And I will see you next Monday. Bye!